Hello everyone, Amanda here from Create with Scrimpy Mummy. Thanks so much for joining me today. So today I've got a new digital kit to share with you. And as a thank you for your time of, um, you know, coming on over and subscribing and watching my videos, I've also got a freebie for everybody, which you will find over on my Ko-fi. My Ko-fi is always linked beneath my videos. So that's where you'll find this freebie. And it's just a little one-page freebie of some beautiful flashcards. And this is designed to go with the Timeless Rose Collection, which was last month's £1 digital mini kit. So this goes with it, and this is free for everybody, okay? Um, if it prompts you for payment at checkout, just put 0.00, .00, .00 and download it. So it's just some beautiful flashcards. Print them two to a page to get them smaller, A4 format, uh, done a JPEG and a PDF. So everybody should be able to get that. So the collection that I want to share with you today um, has come about because I get tired of looking and looking and looking for things to put in my journals. So by having all of this collection in one easy printable place, I can print it, cut them out, put it in my ephemera holder that we made. <laughs> Remember the Alice wallet? I can fill this with ephemera and when I've got my, you know, I'm doing my journals, I've got things ready to go. Now, 85 stroke 90% of this kit are all images you will not have seen before because they belong to me. They're my images that I've um, downloaded um, from my personal collection. I've enhanced them, etc, etc. Some you might have seen before and this I've digit digitally created. So these are some fun typewriter keys. So we've, I've, got, I've done quite a large selection of words. And you can punch these out with a three quarter inch circle punch or just fussy cut them. I didn't want them too big and I didn't want them too small. These are a perfect size to make little charms um, or whatever you want with them. How fun are they? Okay, so that's the first one. And then the rest are all... Um, vintage documents, photos, letters, invoices and some fussy cutting elements. So these are genuine vintage postcards that are in my collection. I've had to shrink them down um, because they're quite large and the kit would have been 70 pages long if I didn't shrink some things down. And they're lovely to put in your pockets, your tucks, your whatever, use for decoration. So these are the backs of these. So these are genuine vintage, as are these. Okay, absolutely beautiful. I don't know how many images there are all together, but there are 30 pages in this collection. And it's got everything you will need, which is why I've called it Journaling Basics. Okay, I'm going to be doing another kit shortly with some um, basics pages and stuff. So this one is a lovely ledger that somebody's written, um, documenting their mileage, and it's dated from 1950. And I especially like this because you can see the original tape that the person taped the pages together with. It's fabulous. Okay, here are some um, original receipts or invoices that are in my collection. Uh, some of these I especially love because when I looked closely at them, um, this one's uh, sent to a company which is actually only a couple of miles away from my house and these date back to like the early, uh, this one's 1910 and that one's 1907. Okay, so you won't have seen these anywhere else because they're mine. <laughs> well, they're in my collection. And here's another one, and this is a soap manufacturer in Liversidge, which is quite close to where I live. And it's an invoice to um, Fisher and Firth in Marsden, again, which is very close to my home. So how um, awesome is that? 1907. Beautiful images on there. Um, lovely and clear. I have enhanced them. Uh, this is some writing, well, it's an order pad, and you can see where the original staples were and it's all rusted it's fabulous so we've got that one as well and then these are original photographs and postcards that are in my collection okay so you won't have seen these anywhere before you won't have seen much of it um same with these envelopes of this is like a telegram um envelopes and then i've just added these to fill the page some wax seals which i found myself and then here we've got some a beautiful, beautiful cabinet card. I've had to shrink it down, it was quite large. And then we've got the backs of some cabinet cards. And again, I have shrunk those down so that the kit don't go on forever. 
um, but the detail on those is beautiful absolutely lovely they make great backs for little journaling cards etc here we've got some more <coughs> excuse me um, vintage postcards so this is a vintage French one that I've got in my possession and there's another beautiful one and this is Napoli uh, and this is the uh, the actual backs of these with the genuine writing on and the dates and everything this is a document from 1800 and I think it was about 20 beautiful cursive script you can see the embossing in the paper the details amazing absolutely fabulous here we've got some ledger um, it's from 1913 um, I have lightened that and enhanced it so that it's nice and sharp brilliant absolutely love it and here's another one that came and it was it's from 1888 this one was a bit harder to enhance because it was so old but it's still clear and it's on like a pale grey background this one it's fabulous We've got some more vintage postcards, genuine ones, uh, Venice and uh, this one's celebrating, I'm not quite sure what it's celebrating, um, but they're from around the 1920s these ones. And then we've got some more postcard backs, always fabulous for your journals, turn them into journaling cards, collage on the other side of them, add your digital papers and make your own, um, but you've got the original stamp marks and dates and everything on there. Here we've got some receipts. I have uh, these ones I have used previously in a previous kit, but I just thought they were fabulous to have them all in one place. These are some fussy cuts. So we've got the um, specimen slides. So I created those myself digitally, and these are images that I found and added, and I just think they're fabulous. I've been wanting film strip for ages. Fabulous to fussy cut out and layer up. You could even cut the little windows out if you're careful. You can certainly cut those windows out. You could cut those out and then we've got like a film negative there. So it just adds interest. Here we've got some lovely tags. Some I've used before. These I found and this one's uh, one that I found as well. And I've done things in lots of different sizes. So you've got all different. If you want them smaller, print them two to a page. Here are some uh, guest checks that look like they've been used with all staining and ageing on them. So they're fabulous. Oops. And then here we've got another collection of some cabinet cards that are in my possession. So these are all, um, you know, unique to this kit and to me. I have shrunk them down again. Some of the this one here is about that big. It's massive. <laughs> So, yeah, and I just think it's really interesting. I mean, this lady here is obviously in a wedding dress. Um, I just, I'd just, i just like to think who they are and um, how they lived, and I just think it's really interesting. Then here I found some fabulous images and collected them together, and I just thought they were interesting to cut out and add to your pockets or, you know, the side of a page or whatever. Um, just, just interesting. Um, so there we go. Here we've got some books. So these are some books in my collection that I have scanned in. So the detail doesn't stand out brilliant. This one is an album. It's a um, an autograph book that somebody's collected autographs in um, when they've left um, school or work. Dates from around 1920. And this one is a, you can just see, it says elementary French. So I just thought they'd be fun. And then I found this digital image of some books which I thought would look cool um, added to the side of a page or you can cut these parts up and use them individually I just thought that was lovely we've got the fabulous ever popular layaway tag these are incredibly expensive to buy in the UK you can only really get them from America and so I managed to find one um, with a free license and <laughs> So, yeah, we've got it in a, quite a large size because I like to cut these in parts. Um, then we've got the original size and then I've shrunk one down smaller. So that you've always, always, always got... This is one of my favourite tag images and I hated when I ran out of the original ones. So here we go. We've got them forever because you can just carry on printing forever in a day. You never have to purchase them again. Here we've got some um, vintage library cards and some little labels that I have used previously, but it's just to fill the page up. 
Uh, here we've got some um, lined papers, so this one's like a cash book or something like that from a grocer's and then this one's just lined, so, but I just think they're perfect, you know, if you just want extra writing um, pages in pockets and tucks, etc. Here I've added some maps, the maps are generally really large to use when you get them in map books and stuff. And sometimes you just want a little bit to rip up and use for collage or to fold up and put in your pockets and tuck. So I think those are really beautiful and I picked these because they're nice and colourful. Um, so yeah. So here we've got another collection of male type ephemera. So some of these are mine and some are digital images that I've used before. Same here. Always popular for journals, you can't really go wrong. And here we've got another receipt, uh, vintage, genuine vintage receipt here, uh, which you won't see anywhere else because it's mine. <laughs> well, it's in my collection. Um, <coughs> so it's a furniture receipt. Um, beautiful, absolutely fabulous. I'm looking for 1912. And then we've got a handwritten letter there from 1902. Absolutely fabulous. Lots of history there as well. We've got another um, vintage receipt here. I think this is a timber merchant. So that's 1912 by the looks of it. Again, this is original to me. As are these bus tickets or tram tickets, whichever they were. So these are, I physically got these in my collection. And you can see that they're old and they've been used because they've got the punch from the conductor and then they used to rip them to invalidate them after use. So there you go. And then at the bottom here, I've just found some pretty stamps to fill the page up. So that is the, it's 30 pages there. And as you can see, there's far more than just one image on a page. So you've got a massive, massive collection there of digital ephemera. Now the original digital ephemera, such as the ones that I've shown you that are in my collection, are sometimes hard to find and they can be expensive. I know I've bought cabinet cards before, which are the wooden backed photographs, the Victorian ones. And you know, you can pay anything up to £5 each for these. Um, so yeah, so sharing them this way makes it very budget friendly for your crafting, saves you hunting, saves you, you know, having loads of different things on your computer. It's all in one file, available on my coffee, as always, at a super, super low price. So I'm going to be cutting these out today and putting them in my ephemera holder that we made. Um, there's loads, absolutely heaps, keep you going forever. Um, so I hope that you can find that useful and don't forget a little freebie to say thank you for watching and supporting me. Hope you have a fantastic day, take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.